Is America going to become officially a bilingual country as many foreign-born Hispanics and some American Hispanics seem to want? Demographics can move the balance. In 1910, at the height of the last great wave of American immigration, 15% of all people living in the United States were foreign-born. Today, that number is 12% and steadily rising. Unlike the immigrants of a century ago who came from a large cross-section of Europe and Asia and spoke more than 20 different languages, a majority of the new immigrants speak only one language, Spanish. A majority of the Spanish-speaking immigrants come from one single country, Mexico. Hispanics already surpassed African Americans and became America's largest minority. Will America become overwhelmed with Spanish speakers and become officially a bilingual nation, Spanish and English? Or is America going to close in on itself and exclude all other languages? In an effort to grab more votes, will our politicians of all political stripes set America on an unalterable course towards official bilingual nationhood? In the past, non-English speaking immigrants made a Faustian bargain when they came to America. Their American born children or grandchildren became English dominant and most lost their mother tongue. Due to their numbers, are Spanish speaking immigrants saying no for their children and grandchildren becoming English dominant? Will English dominance actually be best for Spanish-speaking immigrants and their children? Today, parts of the U.S. are moving towards a two-language society, and some Spanish speakers are choosing to retain Spanish dominance to the exclusion of English. An example of this are these two young women who are both immigrants, each immigrated to the U.S. at age three. Both attended California public schools, both graduated from California Public High School in 2004. One of them, however, seems to have an advantage over the other one. Will this advantage disappear in 25 or 50 years? Uh, were you born here in the United States? No, I was born in Mexico. How old were you when you came to the United States? Mm, three years old. So you've gone to school here uh, since first grade? Um, I came... No, I started at preschool school. Preschool. You, you grew up, I presume, in a uh, Hispanic neighborhood. Yeah. And did uh, most of your neighbors speak Spanish? Mm, yeah. And uh, did you speak Spanish with your friends growing up? Mm, yep. And your brothers and sisters? Yep. And your parents? Yep. Watch Spanish TV? Yeah. And do you listen to Spanish radio? Yep. So you have graduated from high school. Uh, when did you graduate? In 2004. In 2004. And where did you go to high school? Ocean State High School. And uh, what are your future plans? Um, be a nurse and medical assistant. Or if it's more forward, um, LBN. And... Uh, do you uh, feel that you have enough English, your English ability is, is good enough to be able to do that? Not really, but by the school they can help you take the lingual classes. Okay, and uh, so maybe some remedial classes so that you can kind of catch up to the other people that are a little stronger in English than you? Yeah, that's what I think. I had the lingual classes at the beginning, and then the upper, upper, the change me classes normally so on top and you learn it's not easy but if you struggle you have good skills you're gonna make it do you think those kids that have the total immersion will ever learn english well probably yeah but it's gonna be they're gonna take too much time so well my choice i want it's gonna be i prefer that starting from the beginning and then go upper and upper until you know if your English is much better. Or I don't. That's why. Were you born in the United States? No. Where were you born? Somalia. In Somalia. And uh, what age did you come over to the United States? Three. Age three. You can speak Somalian. Yeah. Is uh, was that your first language? Yes. 
Um, so are you still fluent in Somalian? Yes. Did you go to school here? Yes. Uh, started first grade? Preschool. Okay, you started in preschool, and you went all the way through high school. Right. You graduated from high school. Correct. And what year did you graduate from high school? 2004. 2004. What are some of your future plans? Um, to get my BA and MA in physical therapy. Okay, so that would be a Bachelor of Arts and Master of Arts in physical therapy. And uh, are you in college right now? Yes. Do you have any problem going to college with English? No. So you, you, you don't have any, English is not a barrier. You speak English, can read and write it perfectly. Correct. I picked up the language with my friends and teachers and, of course, sometimes at home when I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters. So it wasn't really hard. I'm, I came down here when you're little, and when you are little, you tend to pick up the language that is spoken around you. So that's the reason why I'm speaking English now. So, Were you enrolled in bilingual classes? No. Just um, English immersion, yeah. uh, English, uh, I guess, ESL or something like that? No, actually, I was in, in regular English classes. It's like riding a bike. If you don't practice riding a bike, you're not going to learn how to. So that's how it is with English. You speak Somalian at home. Correct. Do you uh, watch Somalian TV? No, we don't have any Somalian TV. Unless it's wet wedding tapes. Um, no, we just watch regular TV. And do you listen to Somalian radio? No. <laughs> no, we. I, I actually listen to English music, you know. Your first language was Somalian, right? Correct. And would you say, is that your dominant language today? No. Yeah, your dominant language is English? Correct. 